<laughs> ah. I'm so nervous. I'm sweating. I'm sweating in the <laughs> Welcome to my channel. So today we are going to be checking out the things that you should better do when you come to Belgrade. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's just get into this video. Number one is the Church of Saint Sava. It is the second largest Orthodox church in the Balkan region and the beautiful interiors are a sight to see. I have done a whole video on the Church of Saint Sava and if you'd like to see more and learn more about it, just go check out, I'll leave the link in the description bar below. Number two will be the Belgrade Fortress, which is the most visited tourist attraction site in Belgrade, with over 2 million foreign and domestic visitors yearly. It sits on a one, 160 acres piece of land with a beautiful park and a military museum within it. This location is beautiful for hanging out with the family because it has many locations and activities for kids. It is also good to just take a walk and just enjoy the beautiful sceneries. The strategic position offers the views of the beautiful city of Belgrade and the confluence of River Sava into the Danube River. Number three is the Tesla Museum, which is named after the famous Serbian-American inventor Nikola Tesla. He is best known for his contributions to the design of modern alternating current electricity supply system. And in the museum they have all his inventions, his belongings, and even his ashes. I highly recommend you visit, you try out the experiments, and have some fun. Number four is walking the streets of Nez Mihailova with musicians playing in the streets. Oh, someone gave the buddies some popcorns. This is probably one of the most liveliest street I've been to. So this street is a pedestrian shopping zone in Belgrade and it was named after Mihailo, like the Prince of Serbia and it holds buildings and mansions that were built during the late 1870s. If you're a shopping lover, this is the place to be. If you also love taking walks, I highly recommend just walking down this street. It also has lots of cafes and restaurants that you can actually grab something to eat hang out with friends and also just listen to the musicians that are playing in the streets. It's such a beautiful ambience. They also have small shops where they sell different things, candy, bread and you know just a lot of local stuff that you can just try. Number five, 
I will take you to the Avala Mountain. So this is the location for the Monument to the Unknown and also the famous Avala Tower. This is a perfect location to just overlook the great views of the cities, to come have a picnic, play with your kids and your family, and just chill, relax, and enjoy the beautiful nature. Hold up before you get comfortable, let's check out the Avala Tower. So this tower is 204 meters. It is a telecommunications tower that was built in 1965 and then later destroyed in 1999 during the NATO bombing of Yugoslavia. So guys, the tickets are 300 dinars per person. So yeah, that's probably maybe $2, which is quite fair. And affordable so yeah now we're going in the tower must say the views from the top are spectacular so the shape at the top is like a sphere so you get to see 360 degree views there's also binoculars stationed at every corner so you're able to also see further and enjoy the view so it's such an amazing, amazing um, view from the top and you can just feel the breeze as well, which is just an amazing feeling. Avala Towers is quick, something that you can do, a drive, it's like what, 30 minutes? 30 minutes drive from the city so it's definitely something that anyone can do anyway guys that's it for this video so please make sure to give this video a big like make sure to subscribe make sure to leave a comment down below on whether you have visited the sites that i've shared with you or if you'd like to visit the sites so guys i'll see you in the next video bye